Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to learn about WMI filtering. By default, when you assign a GPO to a particular domain or an OU, the group policies are applied to all the authenticated users within that particular domain or OU, to exclude certain users or computers, or to apply filters only to a select few, you can filter the group policies in two ways, security filtering and WMI filtering. Let's take a look at WMI filtering. WMI filtering allows administrators to target specific computers based on filters that are provided to them and then apply GPOs to the targeted computers. To do that, go to Server Manager, then click on Tools and select Group Policy Management. On the left side of this console, navigate to the WMI Filters container, right-click on the container, and select New. This will open a window where you can enter the name and description for the filter. Then, you can add queries into the filter. The queries do the heavy lifting of filtering out the necessary computers. Click on Add to enter a new query. Once you enter the required queries, click OK. Click Save. This completes the filtering process. Now, you will have to link the GPO for which this filter functions. Select the GPO you want the WMI filter to attach itself to. On the right pane, you will be able to view the Scope tab, which will contain the WMI filter section under the Security Filters section. Choose the WMI filter from the drop-down box that you want to be attached with this GPO. I'm going to select this one. A confirmation box will pop up. Click Yes, and you're done. Check out the video in the bottom right to learn about security filtering. To know more about security and WMI filtering, and the differences, check out our detailed article in the description below. So that's it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.